shagalaka, what's up, what's up, what's up, hey, did you know that there's one thing that every single one of you that's in the harmony of the Lord should have with you that you probably never even thought about? In Deuteronomy 23, check out what this says. It says, designate a place outside the camp where you can go to relieve yourself and as part of your equipment, have something to dig with. And when you relieve yourself, dig a hole, cover, to, cover up your excrement. For the Lord your God moves about uh, in your camp to protect you and to deliver your enemies to you. Your camp must be holy so that he will not see among you anything indecent and turn away from you. Think about this. Every single soldier was required to bring with them a shovel. I've never thought about this before. Why, why do you think that God actually required this uh, of the soldiers? Like, uh, I've just been thinking about this, man. I mean, in real physical, I mean, you should always have your poo and have it be put into something, not just be above the ground, flung all over the place. That's nasty, right? It also brings sicknesses and diseases. A lot of, a lot of places in the world, if you would... If you would have your poo go underground instead of just being anywhere, it would, it would actually bring a lot of health. But uh, what is this a prophetic picture of? Man, I started to think about this. What if your, your poo, your, your excrement is your, is, your, is your issues, it's the things that are, that, are, that are problems in your life. What if God made a way for you to deal with those issues that instead of just having them flung all over the place and getting all over everyone, God says, I want you to have a way that you can deal with these, these things in a specific place, in a specific way, because I want to walk among you as, as holy. And as I've thought about this, the word for, you know, that I'm using for shovel, in the Hebrew language, it's actually the word pick. And I've started to think about this. You know, every soldier was created, uh, was required to have a pick so that they could dig a hole with. When is there a, a, a time where a, a, a pick, a stake was used to deal with some issues, right? It's this prophetic picture of Jesus dying on the cross where they drove stakes into his hands and into his feet. And he dealt with the, the, the excrement, the poo, the, the issues of the world. And as Jesus died on the cross, he dealt with all these things. And um, the night before he went to the cross, he sat down with his disciples. It's one of the few times where he actually uh, explains the reason, the purpose of him dying. And he chose to wrap this whole story around the Passover meal. And, and he says, in the Passover, he begins to explain him dying on the cross and what it's going to have to do. And he wrapped it all in the story of the Passover. And, and I, I've been thinking about this. And you know, the blood in the Passover meal was put on the doorpost so that the destruction would pass by. And he says, do this. This blood is my blood shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Right? He says, drink this wine in remembrance of that, how I forgave you. But what was the body in the Passover? They ate the lamb and it says that there was none feeble among the Israelites. When they left Egypt to go to Israel, there was none feeble among them. When they ate, when they ate this lamb, the body of this lamb, it brought strength into their bodies. Now, in 1 Corinthians 12, it says some of you have not discerned the body correctly. And because of that, some of you are weak, some of you are sick, and some of you have actually died before the time. Which tells me that if you were to understand the, uh, the body that you take when you're taking communion, you would begin to get this, this revelation of how you can have... Uh, strength, how you can be healed, and how you can live a long, full life, all wrapped up in this same story. So why should every soldier have a shovel? And what is that shovel? I think that shovel is the communion meal. And I've started to take this every single day. Now, um, I've been dealing with physical issues. And as I've started to take communion uh, on a daily basis, I begin to remember what Jesus did for me on the cross, and he, he forgave me. There was no worthy bone in my body. There's no moment in the day where he's not worthy to be praised because he is worthy and I was unworthy. And so I take this and then remember that, that he forgave me when I didn't deserve it. He's a good God. He's a kind God, you know? And then as I take the bread, it's like I remember his body that he gave to me. And he says, look, look if you eat this, you can have strength and health and life in your body. Man. I need that, especially at a time like this. <laughs> so I eat this 
in remembrance of the body of Jesus that he could have at any moment called all the angels to stop what was happening to him and they would have stopped it, but he didn't. He chose to lay down his life so that you can do it. So what if, what if your shovel that you have in your life is this communion meal and you can begin to take the issues of your life, the, the problems of your life, and you can begin to, to uh, put it in its proper place at the foot of the cross and let Jesus bring life and healing and strength into your physical body and life and healing and strength into your emotions and the damage that was done to you or you did to others and spiritually that set you free so that you can go and do the same thing for others. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments down below.